The new legendary gem in Diablo Immortal will be craftable. So let's take a look at the Apprentice Jeweler and see what this is all about. If we go into crafting, we can scroll through the gems. Here's the end of the two stars, nothing new. End of the one stars, nothing new. So this tip was actually brought to me by Jonathan, who's a viewer on YouTube. Thank you very much for sharing this so I could pass the info along. The way we can see this info is we actually go into inventory and find some asteroids. If we view the list here, we'll see that two star legendary gems have a cost of 80. One star legendary gems have a cost of 20. Now at the bottom of this list, there's a new gem called Mother's Lament for a cost of 80. So this implies that this will probably be a two star legendary gem, which is different than what the patch notes said. The patch notes reference a mystery one star legendary gem. And this of course could be changed as they feel fit before it's released or even after. So really no issue here. Whether it's a one or a two star, I don't know yet. What it does, I don't know. But the Mother's, mother's Lament, excuse me, most likely a tribute to the children of Lilith Battle Pass, as Lilith is the mother of Sanctuary and the mother of the early Nephilims. So we just have, kind of have that info to go on. Now, another little bit of insight here is that there's a gem missing from this list, and that is Fervent Fang. In fact, Fervent Fang is the gem that you receive from the Battle Pass. You slowly acquire these if you... By the enhanced battle pass it's possible to get more of them and kind of rank it up when possible however that gem does not appear in this list so it appears that this mother's lament will be available in the market and you'll be able to get it from other sources as well so anybody interested in leveling this up will have an easier time doing so as always thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day